Good afternoon, it's the 30th of May today, uh, it's just about exactly two weeks since I did a post. Um, things have moved on, stuff's growing well, it's quite cool weather conditions at the moment and very dull so we, you know, we could possibly do with some sunshine. But never mind, I'll bring you up to date with uh, what's happening in the garden. We're slowly getting on top of things, I'm you know, well planted now, uh, I've still got a bit tidying up to do so excuse any bits and pieces that you see lying around that maybe shouldn't be. I'll turn the camera around, we'll have a, look, a quick look in the first greenhouse. Right, um, peppers down this side, starting to grow away very nicely. They've all got flowers on, some are starting to produce uh, like jalapenos as you can see. So they're starting to grow well. A lot of them have just been potted up into this um, 5 litre pot. Still got a few basil to pot up. This side we've got some bigger peppers which were potted uh, a couple of weeks ago, just shows you the difference. There's only one of each variety in there. And I'm just getting some of the purple peppers over the back. Uh, lettuce. Uh, this is um, cross lettuce. A bit of basil still to plant. Tomatoes. I've put three of each variety in. There's five varieties. Uh, these are We do enjoy um, the small tomatoes for eating. So this is the small one. Uh, the variety is sweet aperitive. It's a super variety, heavy trusses as you can see, plenty on the trusses. Fruits just starting to appear there. They'll come away very nicely. I'll only let them grow to maybe four or five trusses in this greenhouse. Uh, I like to get this greenhouse stripped out again um, early so I can start setting leaks and that if we need to later on. Um, basil along here, we've got the purple basil, uh, the miniature basil. Moving along, different variety of tomato. This one is Alicante. It's a larger fruited, uh, fruited old fashioned variety, but it, again, it's a nice tasty one. Uh, moving further along, this is a new one for me, Honeycomb it's called. It's an orange fruited uh, variety and again, it's got fruit starting to appear nicely. These have only been planted uh, probably in the last fortnight. As you can see, there's quite a bit of fruit starting to appear there. These are planted in containers. Um, just in a 15 litre bucket sunk into the ground to help to keep it moist. Uh, the compost, I was lazy this year, I did mention previously. I used last year's pots exactly how I've done. I tipped them out into, a, um, into the wheelbarrow, added a fresh bag of Johnny's number two, and to that I added some Terra Plus, the 12% potash one, and put it back in, and that's what we're growing in. So I'm growing in last year's compost. Watch out for small suckers. They do still appear, um, you can be at them every day, just keep those cleaned off like that. They'll make perfect cuttings if you need to do, if there was time to do it. Uh, I'm getting late for that. We've got a little bit cut and come again lettuce. And then I've got some different varieties of uh, miniature cost there, they're all nice. Um, right, that was honeycomb, we move on to... This one's Shirley, just starting to appear. Again, fruit's just starting to pop on. As you can see, it's growing quite well and the plants are growing quite well. I'm quite happy considering it's old compost. Through the back, we've got um, cucumbers. Mainly in here, it's just the small one. I've got two or three varieties. Uh, Pisandra. I uh, can't remember all the names of them, but I'll remember the next time. There's a few ready to start picking there. Um, the exhibition ones are next door and I don't fruit those on the upright. I start fruiting along the top, um, either cane or wire or metal rod. That's what I've got in there. Uh, so the Shirley and then moving on again. This one is Rapunzel. Uh, it produces type fruit that you would see in the supermarket shelves. Small fruit again. Just a neat little uh, trusses. They're all just like pears as they come off there. You see them growing down the truss. They'll be nice, supposedly very nice uh, flavor. So basically that's the top greenhouse. Uh, along here we had a few spare tomatoes at the end. So basically I've just put them into five litre pots. I'll only let them get three trusses high and we'll get a few early tomatoes because they've been stopped. I've already stopped these. So they're doing quite well. We'll put on hold and we'll move down the garden. 
these are on the driveway uh, this was a new variety cooked two or three years ago it's hydrangea it's the black leaf hydrangea and they are red flowers they're beautiful comes up very nice we've taken a lot of cuttings off those they've all rooted very nicely they're growing away nice uh, these have all just been repotted uh, there's some campsus there just starting to shoot away viburnum small standard viburnum tinus uh, some calum grotus grass some fatinias and along the back i have some uh, euonymus red emerald just in pots and they've all been repotted and they're growing away nicely still a little bit of compost left a bit johnniness um, three apple teenies they're called it's a miniature apple uh, it's supposed to be for the kiddies lunchbox but last year they didn't make apples big enough to do that uh, they were like a large um, crab apple to be honest with you but i've just repotted those up in the 30 litre pots and uh, they're looking nice and healthy and this is my herb bench uh, i grow lots of herbs a few lewis here there but as you can see there's a good selection different varieties of mint um, oregonum uh, sage there's quite a bit of different plants on here more mint these are cuttings that we've taken this year different oregano uh, quite a few varieties we've split all of these up these were um, all the hostas different varieties that I had I've split them all up and uh, they're growing away nicely Richie Parkin did these for me a friend of mine looking nice a few strawberries uh, these were just runners that we took in the autumn so they're looking okay moving into the tunnel I haven't had much time to take a seat outside, but hopefully during the summer I will. It's an aeroplane flying over. Uh, these are some baskets. Uh, my daughter wanted all white. Not good. There's only four. I've just planted a few tomatoes up the backside. And a few more peppers, which were only potted yesterday. As you'll hear, there's a helicopter just going over. I hope he's not looking for me. few bedding plants left uh, a few baskets here my son comes and gets some he gets about 10 they're starting to shape up quite nice over there this is all calabresia baskets there's a lot of nice colors in the calabresia and they look good a few eight ounce onions this is a friend of mine john bassett who runs the gun in uh, he gets uh, some hang baskets for his pub He's collecting tomorrow, I believe. They're looking good. And over the back um, are the exhibition cucumbers. I think there's four or five I've put in there. They're just making their way up the uh, main cane. Once they get up to the top, I'll train them, I'll pinch them out and I'll run them on laterals along that top um, metal bar, as you can see. Right, we'll move down the bottom into the polytunnels. Right, this is the stock house. Uh, if you remember last year I had tomatoes in here. This is my own seed from those tomatoes. It was Maisie the tomato. And uh, these first plants were planted from very small pots. They were a bit starved, but they've come away quite nicely and they're starting to produce decent trusses. The second ones were better plants. These were planted from a one litre pot. They're growing very nicely. They're producing some good trusses. I just hope the quality of fruit is equal to what last year's were they're coming very nicely they are starting to get fruit on the bottom so they're coming away quite nice and these were the two bigger plants uh, the same breed it's as i say it's my own seed from Maisie. it is uh, an f1 hybrid so we'll have to see what the quality of the fruit's going to come like but i'll follow those through and uh, we'll see just how they've done these are stock plants along here uh, the first row is the new gsn seedling it's back to, this is its first year grass i've got a trench full but they're looking very nice and i've put those away for stock for future years three cumbrian this was jimmy dunnett's cumbrian a uh, few problems here this is my new seedling which i was delighted with uh, an excellent leak and i was hoping it was going to be one for the future it's thrown a very funny head up i'm not happy with that head at all um, hopefully it will produce king pods and I'll get some decent um, heads next year this was the other seedling again a lovely leak and you can see it's produced the proper head so I'm happy with that 
Blanche Leaks, uh, again they've thrown blind heads up. I'm not happy at all. Uh, I don't know why. There, you can see there. But I'll show you the mistakes as well as the uh, that one. I'm not certain it might throw a head out of there. This one's starting to produce a head. So I'm happy with that. That was actually the best ceiling. Um, so at least I've got one new Blanche Leak for future years. This one is Blanche Leak King Pods. Uh, this was the RMG. It's coming away very nicely. Got a nice head in it. A lot of um, King Pods. That's a GSN King Pods. As you see, I've got a lot of Fox gloves. Um, quite a few different plants in here. Uh, it's all to attract the bees. And the beehives, I should believe, will be in here in a week's time. But the bumblebees are hovering around nicely now. I don't know if you can see that one. There we go. So they're coming in now, uh, none of the heads are open yet, but there's lots of um, king pods in there, king pods over on this side, and some more king pods on the far side. This is the DN1 that I've stocked up on. I am stocking heavily on the new varieties, because I do believe that there will be leaks for the future. DN1, this is DN2. Just a few onions that I've put in the pots, I had a few spare. So, just put those in the pots. They're all doing quite nicely. I did, um, I made these, and I think I've kept one, which I'll show you how to make your rings for future years. Uh, this is virus free. Again, fox gloves at different settings for later dates. So, we're starting to uh, shape up. Everything's growing well. The heads are coming through. The onion stock, I am well pleased with. All along here. I'll look down the next row. You can see possibly better. The heads are all coming out very nicely. I've got loads of heads. Uh, none of them are actually broken open yet. Well, there's one or two further right at the far end, just starting to break open, but the bees will be here soon, and uh, the bees will do all the pollination that I'm looking for. Leak heads are just starting to appear now. Uh, there's a few there, maybe it's the first eight or 10 heads, but uh, there's a lot more to come. Moving in, I don't want to make it too long. Uh, Nick Drake asked how the onions were doing uh, As you can see these are the ones that I planted uh, they were late set and they were planted from small pots They've recovered from uh, where they were all yellow and they're growing away quite nicely. They're not massive, but they were quality onions But uh, they're, they're doing all right The next batch are looking good uh, these ones were Sown around about Christmas time and these were planted from one litre pot and there's some fair onions in here actually Quite happy as you can see they're not bad uh, as we move along to these ones I've had one or two mishaps here this is one of Chris Evans um, pips they're about 14 inches around at the moment good solid neck and they're a, a good 15 to 18 inches high nice plants so they've come away quite well uh, I have had that's one of my own seed Again, that'll be maybe a little bit bigger. It's about 15 inches around. So they are shaping up, but I've also had mishaps. That's a Chris Evans. It was looking in perfect condition, and then, bang, all of a sudden, we get a seed head on it. I've got three showing signs of seed heads. There's another one, and there's another one. Uh, that's one of my own seedlings. Looking okay. So... Not too bad, uh, you do expect to lose one or two if you're pushing them, these were on lights early on But they're nice and clean and they're growing nice and healthy Intermediate leaks, these have had no collars on, it's just a pendle uh, that I haven't collared They're a good 8 or 9 inches to the button and uh, they're about 8 inches around at the moment Looking quite nice and If you notice the bottom foliage did have thrip on But the top foliage is coming through beautiful and clean I'm on top of the spring now. Moving on to the blank. Well, these are still intermediates. This is um, Mick Cook's intermediate. It's a good leak. Again, it's about eight or nine inches in length. It's not so big. These will be sixes to sevens. But I'm quite happy with those. And again, they are starting to come nice and clean. Moving along to the Blanche leaks. Still have got a 15 inch collar on, they are well up the collar, they'll be over the 14 inch mark and they're growing quite nicely. So I'm quite happy in here, everything's ticking along okay, if you notice over the, the framework.
keep on top of your sprays. Move into the pot leaks. I have replaced um, one or two pot leaks. These are the betties that I planted. Um, they're stood around about eight inches around at the moment. A little bit wrinkling in the foliage, as we can see. This is surges of growth, where it's possibly stopped growing for a day or two, and then all of a sudden it's come away again. I replaced two leeks, uh, the blues. Uh, they weren't growing properly. So this one uh, was a replacement. And this one's a replacement. These have only been in a week. And then we're on the DN2s here. And they're lovely and clean. I've got a really good framework on them. Nice broad foliage. They're looking quite nice, these. Uh, that's a replacement, which I actually just replaced on Saturday. If something's not looking right or not growing properly, you may as well come out. And fortunately, I had stock plants put away, so you can see. But they are growing up quite nicely. Nice barrel on them. Decent leaks. Around about the 10 inch mark. As you can see there. Now, obviously we're virtually into June here. I usually say I'm looking for leaks um, nine to 10 inches around by the 1st of June. If you think from June through to the 1st of um, September, you've got approximately 12 to 13 weeks and putting a half an inch a week on, I know some leaks put a little bit more than that on, but a half an inch a week will give you leaks 16 and a half to 17 inches around. Uh, that's ample big enough for me. I'm not looking for much more than that, so I'll be quite happy if I can get these to 17s. This is the new seedling, um, the GSN seedling. I've put on the new Cumbrian because it, does, it did look like a Cumbrian. Uh, it's shaping up beautiful. Again, these are touching anything from 8.5 to 10 inches. And they're looking very good. I'm pleased with them. Again, I'm getting a little bit uh, wrinkle in the foliage, but I think it's just different weather conditions. We have had hot and cold weather, and we've had um, dull, windy weather as well. So that would probably be that, but you can see they are shaping up to be a nice leak. Keep our fingers crossed for that one as a new one. It's got a nice frame to it, has a good flag count. Moving along, I've kept one out to replace over here, but I will quickly look at the um, virus free. These are the late set virus free, no lights, they've grown nicely. At the moment, these are around about eight and a half inches, and I'm quite pleased with those. I had collared these, they've actually popped the buttons, which I'll show you, and they're dropping back down. So, collaring them doesn't make much difference, they find their own length. After all, it is a Cumbrian. We move along the row, there's some bigger ones. Start seeing some bigger leaks here. We're just waiting uh, for these cumbrians to split the buttons. They do split about five or six flags in, so don't worry, it's a, a normal habit of the actual plant. You see, there's just one or two popping there, but I'm expecting more. On this side, these are the DN1s. These are all the leaks that I actually split. There's one I haven't removed all the foliage off. There's still a bit of foliage where I cut it down and a split one on that side, which I had split. But most of them are cleaned down. There's a flag to come off that one. You can see where it was split. But the buttons are nice and short on them now. Uh, they're sat three, three inches, I would think, three and a half inches. Uh, some of these are back up to almost, um, well, they're on nine inches, nine and a half inches. The bigger ones, not before short, on 10. So these are growing very hard and they're starting to look like good leaks again. It's unbelievable when you think seven flags were removed off these uh, about a month ago. Now I did dig one out of here. I've replaced, well we've dug the hole. I've got a plant ready to go in. This is just the same as what I did plant and as you can see it has a button almost seven inches long. I am going to split this but I'm going to stop the um, video. I'll get, a, I'll get my holster and put this up in the holster and show you what I'm going to do to this leak. Right, so that's going, yeah. Right, take the label out. I'm going to remove these bottom ones anyway. One. Just split them and peel them off. Lovely straight barrel. Obviously the ones in the trench have grown on, this hasn't because it's in a pot uh, and there'll be no feed left in these pots. 
but it's long. So I'm gonna take a, a knife, I'll start right from the bottom, I think. Just split it straight up there. Turn it around so you can see. You can see I've split through there, I'm gonna split through the flags. I'm gonna split through that one. Do the seal on the other side. And I'm also splitting right up the barrel. Right. Excellent button on it, it doesn't split itself. <laughs> 